Well, I want to thank God for tonight. And I want to thank God for your pastor and his lovely wife for the great work they are doing in this part of the city. We know that God has begun a great work. You perfect it. Kingsley, thank you for inviting me and uh, your precious wife. The other day I met your mom in Kumasi. And uh, she came to me and introduced herself. And uh, she started thanking me. I said, why are you thanking me? She so said, she used to fight you by, uh, for following me. <laughs> so she, she said, I apologize for fighting you. And uh, what God is using you to do is amazing. Say amen. amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for you and your pastors, elders, and everybody. I want to read a scripture. I've got a short time now. In the book of Kings, First Kings 17, I want to read a very familiar text there for you. First Kings 17, read from verse 1. First Kings 17, reading from verse 1. And Elijah the Tishbite, who was of the inhabitants of Gilead, said unto Ahab, As the Lord God of Israel liveth, before whom I stand, there shall be no dew nor rain these years, but according to my word. And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Get thee hence, and turn thee eastward, and hide thyself by the brook Jerit, that is before Jordan. And it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook, and I have commanded the ravens to feed thee there. Say amen. So he went and did according to the word of the Lord, for he went and dwelt by the brook chariot that is before Jordan. And the ravens brought him bread and flesh in the morning, and bread and flesh in the evening, and he drank of the brook. Say hallelujah. I love, I would love you to narrow your eyes uh, to verse number three. He says, the verse 2 says, And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Get thee hence, turn thee eastward, and hide thyself by the brook chariot. That is before Jordan. And it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook, and I have commanded the ravens, to feed thee there. Say amen. I want to title my short message, A Place Called There. A Place Called There. Say amen. amen. The verse 3 again. The verse 4. And it shall be that thou shalt hide thyself and I have commanded the ravens to feed thee there. One of the greatest things you should do this year, 2019, is to discover that place called there. Say amen. Because if you are not at that place called there, your struggle will be endless. Say amen. You will make it, but it will be a long, protracted struggle because you are not at the place. One of your prayers this year is that, Father, let me discover that place because it is in that place that He has commanded the ravens to bring you supplies to feed thee. A place called there is a place of provision. A place called there is a place of satisfaction. Say amen. amen. A place called, the place called there is where the will of God is. Say amen. Look, there are people today who are at wrong places. They are in the wrong business. They are in the wrong marriages. They are in the wrong association. They are in the wrong churches. They are in the wrong callings. Say amen. amen. But I pray that 2019 you will discover that place. 
because if you are there it doesn't matter the struggling you are struggling you know that the ravens will bring you supplies say hey. that is why there are people whose struggles are endless because you are not at that place so wherever you are in life you must ask yourself am i in the will bring me a chair can you put a chair here this chair. Can you put a chair am i in the will of god see amen get, get, get me like a small bowl or something can you put no 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 look for a bowl and put, put it on it there's a bowl see amen i want to show you something when elijah had finished prophesying and has shut the heavens then the Bible said, and the word of the Lord came to him. And the word of the Lord, that means that he heard the voice of God. And the Lord said, go to the brook chariot. Because there was drought. There was no rain, there was nothing. Go to the brook chariot. Stay by the brook. Stay there. Because I am going to command ravens. Ravens are scavengers. They eat flesh. And yet God is putting flesh in their mouth to bring to a man of God. <laughs> are you there or not there? If you know that, Google ravens. They are scavengers. They eat human flesh. They eat anything flesh bloody. And yet the Lord turns their taste bud and put flesh in their mouth to supply a man of God. And the ravens, listen very carefully. It is not the job of ravens to come and look for Elijah. The job of the ravens is to bring bread and flesh by the brook. So Elijah must be here to survive. <laughs> God is bringing you supplies, but you are here instead of being here. That is why you are struggling here. Discover this place. The place called there. So that provisions can be made for you. So when the ravens are coming, man of God, when the ravens are coming, they don't say, where is Elijah? We have brought your food. No, that's not their job. They carry the flesh and they fly. Who, who, who? And then when they come around, they just drop the flesh and then they turn around. Then they go back. But you, they are, they've done their job. But you, Elijah, you must be where? Here. Because, listen to me, it doesn't matter how anointed you are. If you are not here and you are there, you will die with all the oil in you. Because you haven't discovered the perfect will of God for your life. You are following people. You are being moved by things. But what about the word of God coming to you? That is why hearing is key to your survivor. Hearing is what? Key. If you can hear. You see? If you can hear. 90% of your problems will be solved. The problem is that we can't hear God. So we are being moved by the flesh. Are you there or you're not there? Oh. I pray that you will discover the place called there. And brother, when you are there, it doesn't matter how you are struggling. You know that ravens will bring you flesh. There will be an answer to your problem. Provision will be made. That is why when you are single and you are 25, you are 30, you are 35, but you are at the right place, it's just a matter of time. And your marriage is just coming. And your breakthrough is just coming. Say, I hear you, Pastor. I want to be at the will of God. I want to be at the place where God wants me to be. I don't want, is he? 
Don't allow mammon to move you. Don't allow fame, name, quick, quick, quick success. Say amen. Be in the perfect will of God. And even when you are struggling, still be there. When others are moving to places, still be where God wants you to be. Say amen. When others are mining and making money and digging gold, be at where God wants you to be. I hear many people say things like, I can't hear the way, I can't hear the voice of God. <laughs> I can't hear the voice of God. Everybody hears the voice of God. It's whether you are listening to the voice. How many of you have children here? How old is your child? Four. Girl or boy? Girl. Does she talk to you? All the things that your four year what's the what's her name? Ellis. Ellis. All the things that Ellis said, do you understand it? So it doesn't make sense. But as a father, what do you do? You try to understand what she say. You reply. Are you mumu when your daughter is talking to you? Sometimes what he said doesn't make sense. But you still talk back to her. So you, a mortal man like you, you don't always keep quiet when your daughter is talking. Is it God who will be silent when you are, when you are talking to him? Is it God who will be quiet? God is never silent on issues concerning your life. God is never silent. We haven't developed the art of hearing. God speaks to you. You must develop the art of hearing. How does God speak to you? Powerful. I'll do it. <laughs> Say amen. amen. How does God speak to you? God has 10 ways of speaking to you. Through visions. Through dreams. Body impression. Through preaching. Through reading a book. Through counseling. Through word of wisdom. I mean, there is always... Come quickly, let me do it. Father, we pray for this couple who are living right now. We ask for your hand of blessing upon them. We pray that your grace will abound to them. Father, increase wisdom, grace, prosperity, open heavens, open doors for their lives. As they have stepped here, oh Lord, they go back more blessed than they came. In Jesus' name, amen. Say amen. God is always talking to you. Through counseling. Through a book. Sometimes you can take a book and you are reading and God is talking to you through the book. You can come to church and the preacher, the preacher is preaching. And you can say that the things that the preacher is preaching about, he is dialing your telephone numbers. <laughs> Have you gone to church and you are sitting there quietly and you are preaching? Most said preaching in a whopper. He said, hey, this pastor is a wonderful man. Nobody has spoken to him. But he's saying things. He's preaching and pointing his finger. Because that finger is pointing directly at you. And the things they are saying correspond with the finger. What else do you want God to say? It is you who doesn't, doesn't want to listen to the voice of God. Body impression. There are times when you come near somebody, you feel that this person is a wrong person. You are working with somebody. And the person you are working with, he says, a wrong person. The, the, the indicators are there that you are in the wrong company. But most of the time, we don't want to hear his voice. So we say things like, I can't hear the voice of God. <laughs> no, it's not true. You must ask yourself, how does God speak to me? Because me, God doesn't talk to me in dreams. I don't dream. When I dream, my dreams are disjointed. My dreams are a result of late eating. When I, when I, I sleep, I snore. I snore until the whole bed will be shaking. 
You see my wife turning me over. I said, Honey, you are snoring. I said, Allow me to snore. <laughs> Tired. <laughs> if I break. <laughs> yeah. So God said that no dreams? No. I won't talk to you through dreams. But when I sit in my car and I'm driving to the office, I hear the voice of God. When I sit in my office, I hear the voice of God. But there are people too, when they sleep, when they dream, the dream is spot on. So God will speak to you through dreams. So you must ask yourself, how does God speak to me? And you develop the art of hearing. So that you don't miss the place. So you are not out of the will of God. People have married wrong women. Some women have married wrong men. Oh. I'm going to tell you something you may not like, but it's true. There are some relationships you must come out of it. It's not working. It's not working. They are slapping you. They are beating you. They are kicking you. They are doofu doofu you. And you are inside there. Nonsense. Come out of that. Awari awari a ye si wa sume every weekend. Ye ye butu butu. Ye slapo. I said, I love him. What kind of foolish love is that? You are not in the will of God. If you truly love your wife, you will not do food for her. If you are in the, if the marriage is a real marriage from God, you will not. Why would you want to hurt somebody you love? Why would you want to hurt? Someone, I have married my wife for 30 years. She's here. Ask her whether I have lifted my finger like this. I tell before. Yeah. There's no beating. I have never, there's no slapping. There's no, there are no, we, there have never been a time in our 30 years that for a day we haven't spoken. She said, yeah, yeah, one week. Me, what I hate, I'm in the house. We are coming, I'm also coming there. We are passing each other. What kind of nonsense is that? Come here. Why are you not talking to me? We will solve the problem right now. We don't quarrel for more than a day. We don't quarrel for more than a day. That same day now we will solve it. It means that our relationship was of God. The one you have, there is beating, slapping, kicking, molesting, shooting. There are shooting people in the marriage. And you are there. Come out of it. It's not the will of God. I don't care how you take it. I say, come out of it. You married for the wrong reasons. You married breasts and bottom and hips. You went and married mascara and lipo lipo and lip gloss. When they have removed the wig down and removed the eyelashes and removed the hips. And remove the bomb. You see that you didn't marry properly. <laughs> Say, I hear you. Wrong business, wrong association, wrong partner. That is why. You see. When you are in the will of God, it doesn't mean that you don't go to struggle. You are struggling with hope. You are struggling with what? Hope that your situation will change. But where you are, you can see that no change is coming. It means you are not at the place called there. Because if you are there, there will be provision. There will be wisdom. There will be satisfaction. There will be solutions. Ravens have brought bread and flesh. And you are lying somewhere hungry and dying. One day, one of my church members had two handsome gentlemen coming to chase her. She was a very beautiful lady. In one of my most pathetic stories. 
this guy who came first was not bish bish bia so meow 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 big some bia la bia la big some debi 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 then this guy came this guy had money hey that money guy chops up <laughs> splashy money change their houses change their homes so this girl now was supposed to make a choice oh you can be sure of the obvious choice he made she went for the nyo 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 she didn't follow the will of God she followed money, fame, position, cars. It wasn't long. The man died. Then she too, she died. The two of them died. This guy, because this guy was following God with time, he prospered. The husband died, and he didn't just die, he died a pauper. So he taught me a big lesson. Because Charlie, when they were spreading the money, you know, they brought some to me. I mean, I'm sitting by somewhere, they bring me money. <laughs> I chop up. <laughs> but the guy was splashing money everywhere. <laughs> the guy was splashing money everywhere. <laughs> so they brought some to my office. They brought some to my house. Oh, I said, hey, we don't go. <laughs> Say, I hear you, Pastor. The girl died. The husband died. Things became as The children now were left. They have to be cared for by another person. So my wife and I were saying that she should have. You see, we were all advising her. Look at this guy. He's a man of God. You see, we were giving her the reason why she married this guy. But oh, when you when you are in the house and they can come and take away all your furniture and bring a brand new one, it blinds your judgment. When they put a car, your new house, there's no car. They put a car there. <laughs> it clouds your judgment. When you haven't married somebody, you start having sex with the person. It blinds you. Start spending, start spending weekend in the guy's house. How will you make a good choice? When, when, when the person is already sleeping with you, you can't see anything. Yeah, Even when God is speaking, you can't hear. You have compromised your status. How do you pray? Your prayer, the, the prayer topic right, is, is, is the wrong topic. Father, just bless what is happening here. <laughs> Make it fast. <laughs> Say amen, somebody. Hallelujah. When my wife married me, she said, when she married me, oh, I was struggling. I was struggling. In fact, I was struggling so much that my father-in-law sacked me. Because they, they asked me, what work do I do? I said, oh, I'm an evangelist. He said, Eva what? <laughs> so, jealous. <laughs> he said, my friend, leave this house. Swear. Don't come here again. I was sacked from the house. My wife is here. Was I not thrown away from your house? <laughs> Didn't your father throw me out? Speak the truth. Yes, it's true. What did they tell me? Never to step in the house again. Then they act. Then he he made he made the most dangerous statement in history. 
that I will marry this lady over his dead body. When he said that, he crossed the line. It sent me to 40 days of fasting just for one woman. Is it true or is it not true? <laughs> For the days, huya 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 huya. And you know why I was fasting for 40 days? Because I knew that that was my wife. There were other beautiful ladies all over the fellowship. But I wanted to be at the place called there. My wife is here. We've been married for 31 years. We have four children. Our second boy just had a wedding a month ago. My son is a pilot. My daughter is a lawyer. My two children. I have beautiful, I mean, I'm in a very beautiful home. I will marry my wife again if I come into the next world. Oh, I will marry the same woman. Man of God, I've never written a check before. My wife is here. I don't write checks. I don't, whatever. She handles all my money. I have never come to say, honey, make a count. Show me what. Wait, no. She seeks my interest. She protects my properties. She loves my children. Yeah. It means that. I was at that is why you see and I, I was sacked I was rendered I was as I, 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 I was poor I was sacked some people came and said we are here they, they, they opened their breast we are here come and squeeze the breast We are here. I said, no. This is where God has sent me. My wife is a very intelligent woman. She speaks every Sunday. You see, I'm never nervous when she's doing something for me. Because I'm with the right person. May God help you to discover that place called there. When you are at the right place, you don't hold back your commitment. You don't hold back your works. You have located this church. You are under a very good pastor. You are under a very good leader. This is where you must spend your energy. Your time. You are at the place called there. You should not do. You see the reason why people are not blessed. Because you are doing the work of God. Biara biara. Your heart, your body is here, but your heart is not here. Your body is here, but your heart it is somebody. When you see that there's a, a prophet appearing here and they are rolling, you go and roll. Then there's something here, they are spitting, then you go and spit. Then you are, you're all over the place. God, by his divine mercies, have brought you to this house. Stay here. You will prosper here. You will do the work of God here. Be committed here. And God will raise you up. And become a great man of God. Say amen. Are you there? Discover that place. Discover the place called there. Because God is bringing you ravens. Supplies. In the morning. In the evening. Sometimes you get a long struggle. You may not see it now, but stay there. And God will help you. Say, I need that help. If you know, sometimes when you are in the perfect will of God and you are there, people will scandalize you, undermine you, speak against you, attack you, just to move you from that place. But you know that you have heard from God. 
You have heard from God. And me, on, my wife will tell you, unless I don't hear from God, when I hear and God wants me to do something, I do it with everything in me. Please sit down. I do it with, I don't go back. Because I know I am in. One of the most important things in my life is to hear from God and do this. That's it. Do this. That's it. And the reason why, by the grace of God, he has lifted us because anybody who is around me can tell you, I don't joke with God's work. Once I am in his will, I am serving as a choir and in the protocol, in outreach, soul winning, technical, whatever I am doing. I don't need to be supervised. I don't need anybody to thank me. I don't need anybody to tell me anything. I am just doing it. Just doing it. Some people, when, 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 when they see that the overseer is coming, then they are sweeping. Watch it. Then they are sweeping. Why? 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 <laughs> yeah, we do that. You don't need to be. You don't need to be to be asked all. You don't need to be appraised. You don't need to call you forward. You don't need to be thanked. Just do it. You don't. I have never needed anybody to come to my house to encourage me to do God's work. Since I became born again, nobody has come to follow me up. I am in the church from Monday to Monday. Say amen. amen. Nobody has ever come to follow me. Nobody has ever come to follow me. Oh, if you haven't seen me, I've come to a call. A call. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm already there. I'm in a gospel train. I'm in a choir. I'm in a drama. I'm in the outreach. I'm in the church from Monday to Monday. Committed. Dedicated. I have never needed anybody to come and encourage me. I have, by the grace of God, I have never backslidden before. That I have backslided. A group of people have come around my bedside to be singing some song. That nonsense has never come to me before. <laughs> so, when I see somebody doing the work of God and I see that he's there, we have to have meeting and encourage them. We encourage you. I'm like, are you sure God has called you? Are you sure you are in the will of God? Are you sure that it is God's work you are doing? That is why some people are not blessed. As I'm standing here, because of the work of God, I am totally blessed. Oh, I'm too blessed. I'm blessed everywhere. I don't have a Bible school mate. I don't have a Bible school certificate. I don't have a Bible school degree. I don't, I didn't, I've never learned humanetics, homiletics, Greek, Hebrew. I don't have all those things. I just have dedication to God. That's all. Dedication. I have four streams of Bible school in my church, but I've never been to Bible school before. I've never written Bible school exams before. I don't have a Bible school mate. So this one was my mate from 1988 Bible school. I don't have one. Say amen. But I have sons and daughters around the world. My churches around the world. I travel around the world. Why? Because I discovered that place. And when I discovered that place, I put my all at the place. Say amen. I am about to do a project. You will hear of the project very soon. On a 1,000 acre land to build a home for disabled people. It is there. It is, it is the first of its kind in Africa. disabled people, blind, sick people who have become homeless. I'm about to solve the homelessness of disabled people in the country. Yes. They have schools, marketplace, hospital, they have their own hospital. It's a disability friendly city. 
to house thousands. There are 2.6 million disabled people in this country. My design, engineers, architects have designed it. When I designed it, somebody called me and said, I hear you want to build a village. I said, yes. Are you serious about that village? I said, yes. He said, my company will invest $50 million in your village. You can ask my wife, I can be sitting with the architect till midnight. Dedicated, committed. People are not blessed because there is no commitment in your life. You don't save God. Yeah. And we are calling some people to come and that those, those things are and ah who can who can have time who can have time. That's why God is one blessing. No commitment. See man. And you go home, Google disability village. You won't find any anywhere. It's going to be the first of its kind. The people who are designed, the engineers, they are surprised. He said, Reverend, we say we are professional by you. Because I don't sleep. I'm on it. Committed. Dedicated. I do day of help for poor people. Thousands. It has never happened in this country before. It's the first of its kind in the country. A day set aside for disabled people. The last one we had in Tamale was 20,000 human beings. And I'm there with my shorts, my t-shirt, and my cap. Carrying people, serving what? And I'm there. I mean, I'm not there for show. If some people do something for camera. I mean, I don't do things for cameras. If you know me very well, I'm not a camera person. Anytime you see me on TV, I didn't put it there. Somebody went and put it there. I, mean, I, don't, I, don't do, I don't do TV, camera, I don't post for cameras, I don't have discussions, I don't sit in studios, I don't go for interviews, I don't go for morning shows. I don't need all those. Some people, they, are, they love to appear on TV. I mean, I'm not a TV person. If you see me on TV, then so, sometimes when, I, sometimes when I, I see people, the other day my podcast, people told me that, he was telling me that, so many hundreds of thousands of people are on your podcast, I did listen to you. I said, really? I'm surprised. People are googling and listening to my messages. I'm surprised. I don't do I don't do media. I don't do media at all. If you give me my phone, when I listen to call, I make a call, I send a terrible receiver, that's it. It's my children who come and take my phone and they use it. <laughs> God is blessing. You are next in line to be blessed if you discover the place called there. Let me give you a scripture and I close. Genesis 22. Genesis 26. Reading from verse 1 to 6. Genesis 26. 1 to 6. I close with that. The Bible said, And there was a famine in the land beside the first famine that was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac went into Abimelech, king of the Philistines, unto Jerah. The Bible said, and the, and the Lord appeared unto him. The Lord appeared unto him and said, Go not down to Egypt. Dwell in the land which I shall tell thee of. So John here in this land, and I will be with thee, and I will bless thee. For unto thee and to thy seed I will give all these countries. And I will perform the oath which I swore uh, which I saw unto the father Abraham. Say amen. And I will make thy seed to multiply as the stars of heaven and will give unto thy seed all these countries. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. Say amen. So you see, there was a mass exodus of people moving to Egypt for greener pasture. But the Lord appeared to Isaac. Do not move. Stay here. It takes a man who can hear from God to be at a particular place. So he stayed. And the Bible says in verse 12, and he sowed in that land where people were running away from. He sowed there. 
Verse 12. Put it there. The Bible said, And Isaac sowed in that land, and received in the same year a hundredfold. And the Lord blessed him. Where did the Lord bless him? There. Where he was asked to stay. Hearing is key. Ask somebody, what do you hear? What have you been hearing? Where are you? Some of you after tonight, go and pack your things from where your things are. God, God is not there. Go back to your mother. Go and remove your bra and puto from your boyfriend's house. God is, God is not there. God is not there. The person hasn't married you. He's taking your money. He's slapping you. What kind of foolishness is that? Remove your things and go back to your border. God is not there. I am praying that you will change. A pig can never change. <laughs> See, me? there is a brother with some green trousers trying to follow you. Look at that brother. That's where God is. This one. This one. That they are punching you with your mouth big. Though. God is not there. Isaac sowed in that land. And the Lord blessed him. He became great. He went forward and became very great. And the Philistines envied him. Why did he become great? Because he was at the place called there. May you be at that place. And God will bless you. Amen. I love you all. I'm told we are supposed to leave here by 9, 9.15. I want you to rise up. There is none like you. can touch my heart like you do I could search for all eternity long and find there is none like you there is none like you there is none like you. lifted say dear lord jesus tonight as i pray lord help me help me to discover to discover the place, the place called, there. called there help me help me to locate, to locate my position my position help me help me to be to change to be to be in the perfect will of god as i pray tonight as i pray tonight lord lord Help me, Help me to discover, discover that, place. that place. Shall we begin to pray right now? In the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. The place called the in the name of Jesus. Bazika Busha, Ikalaba Husha Tiaba, Mampiri Azusa Kalaga, Aviti Riba Hazala Galaba, Ibuni Ashipa Talaba, Iliko Bahusha Taba, Ibaziki Azaha, Atudu Ashiha, Mampiri Azuba, Ibuni Buniaba, Ikabazuka, to discover in the name of Jesus. Shut up, 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 shut up
pastor took the he took the handkerchief and cleaned the oil from his head. I want to transfer that grace upon him to somebody here in this house. Whatever he's doing, may that presence also follow you. Those who love him and are serving him and are serving as associates, I want you to come forward and be a partaker of the grace God has given to you. And I know that. Those who work with him, work for him, come forward, please. And may a double portion of what God has given to him may come upon the life. Lift your hands. Hey! Oh, Nima Kujanyami, Minyu and Ama Munsuro, Usande. Living. Yeah, Mikuji Fu. Samata for dogs of the Nara. Living. Oh, where are the Betty? What about kissing us? Yeah, the chief. What when you are in the pool? It see nations. I saw the world map and I see you traveling and I hear the Lord telling me, get ready for an unusual travelings that will bring you a lot of dough. But don't forget the God 
who sent you there. Touch! Jesus. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Yes. Power ministry. Jesus. Touch. He comes. Power ministry. Yes, Lord. 17 people. 17 people. Bring me those 17 people. Yes, Lord. Bring them to me. 17. Receive it now. Yes, Lord. Where is the associate pastor? Come again. Associate pastor. <laughs> Touch. Associate pastor. I'm going to put anointing on your feet. Lord is going to carry your feet into the corridors of power. Lift your hands. You will handle money. You go to places. God will give you wisdom. I don't know, you never met you before, but I'm telling you, the nations are opening their doors for you. Amen. Hey! Yes. This is a lady evangelist. Bring her here. There's an anointing of, there is an evangelistic anointing upon your life. Where is the associate? Come here. Put your hands. Come, I want to pray for you seven times. Hey! Touch! 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 Yes, Lord. Touch! Jesus. How many have I done? Touch. Jesus. How many is that? Touch. Touch. Yes. Keep him there. Leave him there. For the prophecy I have received for you, I have given you, which I see, bring it to your man of God. Kneel down. Let me speak. He will tell you things that I can't say on the microphone. But he will tell you. Because there's a lot of things that God is going to show you. Yeah? Okay. Man of God. Bring this girl. There is a calling upon your life. Evangelistic calling. Save it. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Jesus. Father, we thank you for tonight. We thank you for your blessings. We thank you for your grace and mercy. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Your pastor and his wife are celebrating 10 years of marriage. I want my wife to come and pray for them. 10 years of marriage. I still remember when you married. I still remember. Now you are 10 years already. How many kids? Three. Are you going to have more children? You are done. I think so. Kneel down. My wife will pray for you. Church, shall we stretch forth our hands unto them? Ye na ye, oh no, na oh boy. Ye na ye, Father, this evening, 
we want to bless you once again. You put them together as a couple. And on the occasion of their 10th anniversary, Father, they have come before you with thanksgiving. Father, this evening, we pray for a renewal of their commitment. We pray for a renewal and a strengthening of their love. Daddy, you said you shall put to flight 10,000. May these ones go beyond that. Father, we pray that this union shall continue to be fruitful. This union shall bring many under it. Father, may their marriage be an example unto society. We come against any diabolical plan of the enemy. Any set date of the enemy to cause confusion, to cause strife. Father, we cancel and nullify in the name of Jesus. We thank you even for the children. That these children shall be a glory and a praise unto this marriage. They shall not bring shame. They shall bring joy. Every prophecy, every word that has gone ahead of them shall be fulfilled daddy we thank you that husband and wife shall unite and the ministry shall explode in greater dimensions we bless you father for this beautiful union in jesus name amen